Head coach Russ Turner, after his team's 71 to 60 win, uh, was a very entertaining college basketball game coach. And uh, you know, me and Steve were just talking about it. Different guys stepping up at different times, but but Will Davis, his effort, especially the last 10 minutes on the glass and what he did offensively when you guys needed it in a pinch, uh, he was fantastic. Yeah, he was. And. Uh, it sure was good to have him. You know, our whole team knew that we did not have him the first time we played. I think that gave us a little edge mentally to know that, you know, we, we were at full strength tonight. Um, we knew we were going to have to play a really high level game to be victorious. And I feel like we did that. I thought we were aggressive and um, we were locked in to our defensive game plan. And when we're that, I think we're tough to beat, you know. And, to hold a team that's as expo offensively explosive as Santa Barbara to 60 points, that means you, you got to play really well as a team. And I thought we did that. And boy, it sure is nice to have Chris McNeely. I'll tell you what, for a senior uh, to rise to the moment like that, in a game like this, that's really special for him. Um, that does not surprise me at all. You know, that's what uh, I think everybody on our team knows he's capable of and expects from him. And, you know, it wasn't just him. Like you said, it was a team effort. A lot of guys played well. I thought John Ryan was especially good, you know, in a defensive role against Allen Williams to make things tough for him. And, um, you know, a lot of guys I could, I could single out. I thought Mamadou was really good tonight, too. You know, he didn't play nearly as well at uh, Santa Barbara as he did tonight. So you know, we had a lot of good, good performances in order to win a tough game. And you put in Mamadou, about six minutes and change left in this one with four fouls. Ended up picking up his fifth, but talked about Will Davis, how much he stepped in to fill the void there. Uh, the, your effort on the glass tonight, just as a team, I thought was sensational. And then how about the free throws? That had to be nice to see. 24 of 30 at the line, good for 80%, where you guys really struggled last week at the line against Northridge. Yeah, we did. You know, we probably lost that game against Northridge because we weren't able to convert our free throws. and. I thought that because of that, especially after Monday, I Monday our focus on shooting free throws in practice wasn't good, but I thought that after Monday we were really locked in and uh, competitive in practice in those moments, and I thought that that was evident tonight in our ability to knock down key shots. It was great to have such a nice crowd here, such an energetic and loud crowd. I'm uh, happy to see people excited to support this group. I think we've got a group that's worthy of support. and so. It was, uh, it was good to see that tonight, and I'm just, you know, really pleased with our team's effort. Um, what I hope is that we can, you know, understand that there's still a long way to go this season. We're likely to, hopefully we'll play Santa Barbara again. You know, I hope we play them again. I hope we play well enough to get the opportunity to play them again. Um, and we respect those guys. But we got a big game against Cal Poly on Saturday, and, and I asked our players to focus on that right away because we got three games left, another you know, week and a half in the regular season, and, and we just want to compete. Quick turnaround as the Mustangs come into town. First place down the Big West Conference. Congrats, Coach, a big win. Thanks, Mike.